welcome to today's DIY craft. Today we are going to make a clothes pin crucifix and our end result so you get an idea of where we are going. You will need eight clothes pins, regular wooden clothes pins with the metal um, joiners, and eight of those, hot glue, some string, and scissors to cut the string. Well, this is a dangerous one. It is dangerous, and it, this <laughs> yeah. is a little technical. Now, the first thing you're going to do is take apart your eight clothespins. So if you come up closely to take a look at how we're going to do this, if you lift up on the spring, lift up on the spring, slip out the one piece of wood, then this will slip off. Mm. Now, all of these are garbage, or we're going to have to come up with another craft. We'll only be using one of these later on. Then you are going to glue your clothespin together. I should probably close up. All right, too. so on the sides, on the side, you're going to take your hot glue. Oops. You're going to put a little bit of glue across and you are going to attach your two clothes pins tightly together. And I have a, a toothpick in case you're a little messy because you want it to be flat. Okay. All right, and I have one more. You'll notice with these clothes pins, not all clothes pins are the same when you take the spring out of them. So they have different um, uh, grooves. So try to put ones together that have the same grooves. Wouldn't the clothes pin that you just took apart have the same grooves yes. on each side? Yes, yeah. it would. But sometimes people take all the clothes pins apart. Oh, and, and then them get them the mixed up, right? Okay. Yes. So of your clothes pins, you will want to glue together like this, one, two, three, four, five, six, and leave four uh, separate, because the four separate ones we're going to make the body with afterwards. Right. So save four. Okay. Okay, now once you have these together, we're going to make the back of the cross and the arms of the cross. So this is the back. You'll notice we have two facing upward and two facing downward. Okay. So on the bottom, this would be a bottom one. Right. You'll want to put the flat bottom down. Right. Right, flat bottom down. Then that means that the top one is also bottom side down. You'll want to put the little thin pointy pieces in the middle. And you're going to take this third piece to glue them together. See how they fit so nicely? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so this is how they fit the best. So I am going to take and glue these together. So we'll put a little bit of hot glue here and a little bit of hot glue here. I've tried to do this with other glue, like white glue, because those of you who've watched my crafts before know how much I love white glue. <laughs> uh, it doesn't work very well. So uh, hot glue, hot glue it is. How long does it take to dry? Hot glue, instantly almost. Oh, so you don't need to like leave no, those look, sitting there for like an hour or something I could throw these across like the room right now and they wouldn't, ah. they'd be just fine. Yeah, you okay. probably throw them at me, so don't. <laughs> So now we're going to make the arms of the cross. Notice the arms of the cross, how the flat part is facing out. And the, the flat part is facing out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I've used the thin ends on the inside to connect them. Just right. above this bump. So, like this, these are our two uh, flat ends. So I'm going to glue these on here like this. Okay. You just gotta hold these for a second. My glue got really hot. Um, that's what a hot glue gun does. Exactly. It gets hot. Exactly. These two didn't get quite enough glue between them. They separated. There we go. 
Okay. Okay, I lied wow. about the uh, the person. Are you? Oh. We need three. <laughs> we need what? three close pins for the person. Oh yes. I need an extra one. So anyway, that's all right. Well, let's see here. One, two, three. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so here's my cross. There's your cross. The cross is. Yes. Done. Now you'll notice it's a little bit smaller than the one I had uh, previously made. It's just because of the difference of the size of um, close, close pins. pins. So sure. you'll want to pick close pins that are uh, generally the same size, or if you're buying new ones from the same package. We'll give this a little bit more glue. Steamy. Okay. There's our cross. The cameraman is starting to get sore hands. Nah. Forgot to tell him this is a longer craft. All right, so now we're going to make Jesus. You are going to take a um, clothespin and you're going to glue the two flat sides together to make the main part of the body. You glue them tight together. Mm-hmm. Round part goes at the top for the head, obviously. Thinner part at the bottom uh, to represent the uh, hips. Okay. The hips don't lie. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> now, for the legs, I'm going to take another clothes pit and the hip bone, you see, rounded hip at the top, rounded hip at the top. So you take the rounded part of the clothes pit, glue from the spot where the spring would go up and line it up with the curve. Like that, I need to use some of that glue. And you do the same thing on the other side. Oh, I've got a bowed, a bowed, uh, Sometimes your clothespins act stupid, like that one is bowed. Oh, it's a bowed leg Jesus. Bow <laughs> so what that means is you just have to spread some extra glue in between there. I mean, he did an awful lot of walking. You never know. He might have been bowed leg. You just never know. You don't know. That's so true. And when it does that, you might want to put a little bit between the feet to just hold it. There we go. All right. Give this a second. Do, 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 do. Okay, now for the arms. Yeah. Oh, well, yes, for the arms, a similar thing. So we're going to test the length of the arms. Oh, I see. You see, so we're gonna right. want the arms to be there because they fit into the, the round part fits into the yeah. middle there. So this is about where we're gonna put Jesus on, um, on this cross. So Wonderful. We'll pick Jesus up. Put lots of glue on, on Jesus. There we go. And uh, stick him to the cross. And then the arms uh, flat side down, like towards the bottom. A little glue there. Two arms. There we go. Now for the wow. crown of thorns, you take uh, one of your springs, bottom side of the spring, okay. slip it down underneath the head. This takes a little bit of pulling. Oh. Um, and a little bit of fiddling to get it. Uh... Fiddling? There we go. Oh, not that kind of thing. Okay. And you don't even necessarily need glue because it's springy and it will often just hold itself. So here's your crucifix ready to go. And then the string is to make a way um, so that you can uh, tie it up. I would use, what I would do is I would just, um, oh, I got hot glue, is I would just, uh, Wrap it around. I would tie it in a knot. Wow. 
know. It's, I gotta say, it's almost fun crucifying Jesus. Oh, that's horrible. 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 Don't Here's say that. And so then you can cut off this little extra piece of string. This is an amazing little craft. I like to do this with confirmation. Uh, I've done this over the years with confirmation classes when when we've had lots of time together. Right. Or at church camp. Okay. So this yep. is our, our um, closed pin crucifix. It's a great craft to prepare for Good Friday or to maybe spend doing with your family on Good Friday. On Good week, Friday, right. Or leading yeah. up to that day. Yeah. So um, enjoy. Wow. Thank you.